Look at that. Finally, we have the Dwarven board. This is what I was hoping to see since the very start. Show me the coin or sod off. But this does make the cards look darker. Who do I spy? I might need to not use this board because it makes the cards look darker. Come on. Do they have King of Beggars just to generate some value? Um, the Hawker supports? I can just save it for last turn. Even last turn is pretty damn good. Usually we want to throw away the bronzes we have, but now the bronzes are kind of synergy. I don't know. I think that generally that's the best approach. You just throw away all the bronzes you got and save and uh, play last round with all golds. Let's go with that. Until tomorrow, when people start adding better clear, but as of now, our narrow is getting good. I hoped we could solve this some other way. <laughs> <laughs> Order range, look at the top card from both decks, keep one and give the other one to your opponent. Instant fireball in her face. I like that. Well, King of Beggars is getting boosted. Let's go with Pyrotech. Uh, have you seen a fuse flying about, have you? Tom uh, Foolery, enough! <clears throat> I guess I could have uh, went to support. So now, we can consider Siri. Also, we can put the crushing trap dead, but that's that's just risky because he might just know what the hell is up Actually, no, we can flip flip and damage. Oh, that's fine Even like this we are fine New Grant is pretty Sunglasses mode, but what is this? Why is it so dark? I think we gotta go with the the game board Oh, come on! He has anti-artifact. Like, look at this. Like, so many ways to punish artifacts that you cannot just... You cannot play a, a strap deck. Getting that back. Uh. Frenzy Dao. That's that's not even that bad. You get seven points for eight, and you can completely wreck any artifacts or traps you ever see. I'll tell you a card that is not punished by artifact hit R&R. &R. Great. So, he just kind of messed up. So, we can go with this. What's the least valuable card we have? Hawker support. You'll regret That's a 7. You out. That's questionable. That can get a lot of value. Oh, come on, end turn. Don't make me laugh. 
But I must stick with the team, okay? But, yeah. Like, we just realized that help, the, the counters to traps... Like, look at this. 7 for 8. What an incredible waste of time. And you can punish any... Like, any items, any traps. Okay, let's see. Burns two cards. So that goes away. That's not too bad. Your wit is nice. We don't really have an amazing card to replay. Maybe Serpent Trap should go away. Pitfall Trap is just better. This is okay. That's fine. Go with that. So we can start with King of Beggars value. The semblance of power don't interest me. Anchor smuggler on the first row as well. Hey Adam, how do you propose to use our points in the reward book? Do we get a leader card or a leader skin from there? I personally uh, got all the leaders. I just went for all of them. If your initial points seem a little short, uh, keep in mind that you're gonna get some extra points for unlocking and just doing a lot of extra things. And uh, if you didn't play as much as me, then... Uh, that, that could be a thing, but if you got to like level 80 or so in the closed beta, I think, uh, not a closed beta, open beta of Quent, the previous version, then I think you should be able to uh, do it. That's just a guess on my part, uh, but I managed to do it with like level 90 or so. Got business for me. Uh, that was my approach. If you're, if you need more scrap, I don't know, I suppose you can try that. But ultimately, the leader cards are are pretty valuable, so I think uh, oh, that was a good approach. That that was my approach as well. After that, I kind of just went for more scrap, but I actually don't need it. So I, I unlocked the lore nodes in the New of Guard Circle. So what generates value here? He locked the King of Beggars. Wait, what? He has a doggy? I didn't expect to see that. Ever. You should not have come here. So, we can play a bronze artifact from the deck, which hopefully means, actually, uh, let's just start by triggering them right away, if we can. Yorvid's Gambit. Oh, we should do Yorvid's Gambit. What's your opinion on the game so far? Um... It's pretty fun. And it's very Watch different. Got some and and I ain't a user. Who's the lie by two? Holy crap. <clears throat> I tried to get into magic. And I found it extremely difficult. And I didn't give up. I didn't give up. I kept going. But... And I don't want to hate on the game. It, it's an okay game, kind of definitely uh, withheld by its... Well, definitely worse because of its business model. 
and uh, the car design is okay. However, the game kind of polarizes a little bit. Either you... Well, not sure why I'm talking about Magic right now, or any other card games like Hearthstone. Like, Gwent is just very unique, and uh, it's very strategic, so it's, it's just really good. And that didn't change. So we can uh, blow something up. Uh oh. There are many unique ways, that like uh, when that when stands out. And I played a lot of card games, and uh, many of them are just like try to be like Magic or try to be like Hearthstone or a mix between but with like maybe like small tweaks but Gwent really stands out. It's complex, you can play what you want but it's really expensive. Gwent is just a damn good game. I don't think, I think Magic is overrated. Uh, I may have messed up. Now, how did that recantation go? Oh, he's he needs to. He needs some time. After three turns. Do I have time for that? Oh, actually, I can't destroy the trap. I want to use that trap and turn. Mm. Oh, this is gonna be one dangerous. I am who I need to be. I'm gonna replay, destroy anything card, then. Hattori died? I'm impressed. Okay. What is this? Do hey, not AJ. assume you can order me around. Oh, black blood? That. Ah. <clears throat> dead, guys. He's dead. GG. Here we go. So. The problem here is that this battlefield looks cool, but it's so dark. The cards are dark too. That's not good, guys. <laughs> yeah. John, what do you suggest I replace for that uh, glorious card called r, &R? Incinerating trap. Sure. No, Sika! Judge! Mahakam Horn. <clears throat> it needs to be dead. We have no ways to kill that. 
which is annoying. You talked enough. Game is so dark, guys. I think you might be overestimating RNR. Overrating it based on like few games. I have so much damage, I don't think RNR would be that good. Because my entire strategy is that I'm just gonna move everything to one row, then be completely murdered. Wait, what? Now oh, this is a six, right? Yeah. We can take it. Fine. If my coins rank to you, go kiss a dog. Can we? I can't. I messed up. It's gonna be a tie, and the last round, then the next round is gonna be the last one. Is that a good thing? Maybe it's a good thing. Who knows? That's kind of weird. Okay, I forced the next round to be the last one. Maybe that's a good thing. He cannot scrap all his garbage. Now I plan to get rid of a bunch of crap. That's not gonna help me too much. My help. Sun rating trap. Yeah, that definitely. I don't know if you're gonna have enough traps for the pirate tax. Go town. Okay. We can start with King of Beggars generating value. The semblance of power. Then it's gonna be Milva. Me. Then the scouts go down. Okay, and turn. This is pretty interesting. It would be a good thing if you had a long term better like R&R. Hmm. Yeah. This will be quick and painful. Oh, look at that, the witch is coming down. Hmm. Or just slice them up with the cards that I don't actually have right now. Don't you fret about me. Can I take care of myself? I have no ways to affect Rose. We might get it with your with Gambit. Uh, locked an enemy. That's not the best. Uh, you shall taste of yeah. your own medicine. Help me scout. I just realized that he only has two witchers. He has one in hand. Just play R and R and it will be fine. Oh wait. It's not in the deck. Why? Well, R and R would do twelve damage there, but uh I'm I think I'm fine. Wait, just end turn. Raise hands guys, or just say whatever in the chat. Who here forgets to press and turn? Maybe I should move this a little bit. No. Wrong way. That way. I'm just like, I do my thing like, okay guy, your turn. I wait like wait like one minute. Oh never mind that. It's still my turn. God 
8 or more power, that might actually work against me. Uh, oh, here we go. So, uh, let's go with the Elven Scout. In the back, and just pass. The Elven Scout get pretty strong. But of course, you gotta play a, a mostly square tail deck. Draw a card and play a card. Slavery. <laughs> so, time to play some traps. Might as well play there. Oh, and turn. Here we go. Screw the end turn button, it's the most terrible thing. But have you played magic? In magic you have to press uh and turn five times per turn. Not five times, actually more than that. You have to wait for your opponent to to act so many bloody times. I can go with this. Killing the... That guy would be great. Well, I cannot need to replay it. I can move it twice and that kills it. But that's not exactly ideal. Let's just go with Jorvid's Gambit. Anti-spell. And the way to punish Rose. Enter. I know what I'm doing. Do you? So big dragon damage all enemies by one. Rushing trap is gonna go down fairly soon. I can just play the Mahakam Horde. Uh, there's nothing. Wait, what? Well, I can kill Milva. But I'm really worried about that guy. No, 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 no more. Just, just that guy. If my trap triggers the serpent trap, that hopefully will trigger eventually. But then we get screwed. Horn. Uh, we can just play that late. Oh, actually, holy crap. I, only, I always forget that this guy is uh, an order based one. I might be screwed now. Messed up pretty bad.
but yeah, got hit. Really? Okay, that's ex exactly what I can do. Fire attack. It's gonna wait a little bit. And turn. Ah. <laughs> so many traps! Please play a special card. can build that incinerating trap and he gave up we're good gg